Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. And if you tuned in and you read the title below, yes. Today's discussion is about interracial relationships. Oh, can we just talk? Can we just talk? Figure out who y'all date. I don't care if you're a black man dating a white woman. I don't care if you're a black woman dating a white man. I don't care if you're Jamaican and you're dating a Spanish girl. I have nothing against that. All the thing that I have against is the reasons behind why some of these men claim that they date outside their woman because I feel like it's disrespectful to who the woman that I am. It's disrespectful to the, the queen that I'm raising. So when, and I'm saying this because I, I recently experienced this conversation with someone at work saying why he doesn't date black women anymore or whatever. Listen, we all have a preference. We all have a flavor. And I'm not trying to sit here and convince nobody that dating outside your race is wrong. It's whatever you guys choose to do, that is your choice. My whole thing is the reason is behind why he wanted to do it. I just found so demeaning and disrespectful. He gave me three reasons, probably four, on why he is dating Spanish women and white women. And he said he'll never date a black woman. He said, one, we're not submissive. Two, we're too loud. Three, we're ghetto. And listen, I'm all for falling in love. Sometimes you can't help who you fall in love with or whatever. Everybody in here, everybody in the world deserves love. But in the same token, don't discredit who I am as a black woman because of who you chose to date and it did not work out for you. Because if that's the case, I could be around here fucking and sucking all different types of races because I've had very bad relationships with black men. But I'm not around here downgrading them. I'm not around here belittling them. I'm not around here talking bad on their name like that all because of who I chose to date. So because he put us in a general box, that's what bothered me. I can sit here and say black men, they cheated. Black men, they ish and all this. But that's not every black brother. That's not every man. That's just the men that I dated who cheated on me. That's the men that I dated who used a lot on me. So I'm not going to put every man in that box and, and stereotype them in that manner. That's not fair. But he had a problem with it. So then when I asked him, well, who are you dating? He said he dating a Spanish woman. So I asked her, I see her picture. And she was a very, very beautiful lady. And I mean, she had the hips, she had the butt, she had the titties, she had the big lips and everything. And I asked him, I was like, she's gorgeous. Or whatever, I was asking, you know, are y'all married? Or whatever. He was like, no, but I can see myself marrying her or whatever. And said that she had recently got her body done. And I said, well, this is, this is one of my issues. And this is not me judging. Because if y'all see my last video, I have no problem on natural bodies or fake bodies, whatever your preference is. But my thing is, most of us black women, we have the big breasts, we have the big butt, we have the hips, we have all that extraness. Some of y'all men who go and date outside y'all race, y'all like the image of a black woman, but y'all don't want to date them. So I told him that it's okay for you to date somebody who want to be like me who want to get the shape like me, who want to look like me, but because her skin tone ain't mine, that's why you're attracted to her. So you have the ideal woman of a black woman because that's exactly what she's going after. But because she isn't technically black, you're getting the best of both words, both worlds. And to me, don't sit here and tell me that all of these things, these bad qualities about me when that's still the same thing you chasing. The only difference is the color of her skin. And to me, that that's a problem, bro. Because at the end of the day, you was raised by a black woman. At the end of the day, it's most of us who got y'all back. And I'm not discrediting a Spanish a woman. I'm not discrediting white women and none of that. But I'm not white and I'm not Spanish, so maybe I can only speak for me. And as a black woman, and I'm raising a black man, if he chooses to date outside his race, that's fine. But his reasons for dating outside of his race is what bothered me. You're going to sit here and tell me because I, I, I'm loud or I'm, I'm too ghetto or because, oh, we don't submit to you and all this stuff. How You, you might not be the, the right man to be submissive to, baby. Have y'all men ever wondered that? Y'all sit here and think that y'all choose something better or whatever. But have you thought about maybe the women who you chose are the reason why you ain't getting what you want out of them. They're not pleasing you in that way. I'm not going to sit here and say, like right now, I'm dating someone right now and I'm enjoying him. 
I'm enjoying every bit and piece of him. I'm not going to sit up here and throw at him everything that I went through in my past relationship with these other men. I'm not going to say, you know what, every time he's not in my presence or oh, whatever, oh, I know he out here doing wrong. I know he's cheating on me. Or oh, when I text him and he take two hours of texting back, I don't automatically think, oh, he was with somebody else. Because I know me, I get busy. I be at work. Sometimes my phone is on silent or I fall asleep and I don't text back. I don't automatically go to the negative. So to sit here and to throw all that back at a black woman, me and tell me that those are the reasons why you're not dating me now, nah, bro. You got to come better than that. I'm sorry, you got to come better than that. Again, I have nothing against interracial relationships or whatever. I have cousins that are mixed, some mixed with Spanish, some mixed with white, and I love them all. I have nothing against color, nothing at all. I think we're all beautifully made, we all love on each other. You can't help who you fall with. My only thing is the reason behind it is to me comes off very disrespectful because. Some of y'all were raised by single black mothers. And to sit here and say, oh, she's too loud. Or I just say, oh, y'all are angry. Oh, I'm angry. You telling me this, you think they ain't going to make me mad. <laughs> you, you, you telling me that uh, you, you, the, way, the reason why you dating outside of your race is because I'm too, I'm, I'm too angry. Well, have you ever sat down with that woman asked her what makes her angry? Have you ever sat down and got to know her on a different level other than just her body? You know what I'm saying? Like, whatever your reasons is, let it be reasons that fit you. Don't let it be reasons that put a general statement on our race. Because that's not fair. Because we all aren't like that. We all aren't just ratchet and ridiculous. We all ain't out here ah, clowning in the streets or whatever. We all not like that. So to put that type of stamp on us and to tell me that um another thing that he said that bothered me he was like well i always wanted babies um i always wanted mixed babies or whatever and i'm looking at him and i'm like mind you this brother dog when i say dog i mean like darker than me y'all know I'm, I'm that rich dark chocolate he was a dog and when he told me that it kind of broke my heart because in my eyes so when you look in the mirror what do you see looking back at you do you not like what you see looking back at you? So the world, you don't even want to produce something like you? Baby, I love my chocolate daughter. You hear me? Baby, I let that, I let that little three-year-old know every day you are beautiful. I love, I, we got to love on ourselves. And even if you're a white woman or a Spanish woman or whatever, we got to love on what we produce. We got to love on what we are, where we come from. And when, when, when you start spewing words out your mouth like that, that just makes me think that you don't like yourself. You don't love yourself. You don't even like the image. You don't like what you see. Because clearly, to see you tell me, that, oh, you always wanted a mixed woman. I mean, mixed babies or whatever. That just let me, that just put in my mind that, what? A black woman would never have done that for you. Now, you're going to be mixed, mixed with black, black and black, baby. Black and black is what that baby going to be mixed with, actually with me. So, this video wasn't to discredit anybody who's in a, into relate, into racial relationships. This isn't to downplay, to belittle, or none of that. This is to simply say is that I think it's disrespectful when black men say those type of reasons on why they date outside their race because that's not enough for me. That's not good enough because we all aren't like that. Don't generalize the stereotype us and put us in this box and put us in this one subject or whatever because you had a few bad experiences with some of us or whatever because some of we are mad. Some of, and it ain't just black women. It's some white crazy women out here. It's some Spanish, some Spanish women that's crazy out here too or whatever. But because you ain't experienced that with them all of a sudden, they good to go. It's okay to be with them because they don't act like that. You just ain't met that type with that race. That's it. We all move differently. We all different seasons, different flavors. Or whatever. Love who you want to love. Be with who you want to be with. But you'll let your reasons behind it be reasons enough that you're going to be proud of when your children ask you when you get older. Because I'd be damned if if when he get older, he have a, and he sit here and tell his little girl, or the reason why I'm with your mama is because she's not black, because she's not loud, and she's not this. Like, those aren't reasons. Those are, that's disrespectful. That's a form of degrading, and I just couldn't stand for it. So I had to do a video because it was heavy on my heart. So if y'all came this far into the video, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for your support. Y'all know this month I had hit 800 subscribers. I think I'm at like 
8.30 now or whatever. And um, I'm just so proud of the, uh, where this channel is going. It is growing or whatever. Uh, people have been sending me different topics that they would like for me to discuss. I'm going to get to them. I'm going to discuss them. Y'all know y'all my talkers. I talk to y'all because I want y'all to talk back to me. So please hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Leave a comment down below. Also, please go to Instagram and like my page, Talking with Ken, De Ken J. I'm going to put it right here on the screen. Green, talking with Ken J in my business page, Captured Confidence. That's captured with the K, underscore confidence with a K. And as always, thank y'all for talking with Ken J. Can we just talk?